Hey everybody, it is Nate Price from the MTG Arena community team and I am here to give you a small walkthrough of how the MTG Arena client works if you're familiar with Magic through either playing tabletop or on Magic Online. Um, I'm going to start off nice and simply by showing you first and foremost how to make a deck. So you'll go through into the decks menu here. Uh, your brand new one will be under this plus menu right here. All you have to do is either left click on cards or drag the ones you want over and that's how you add them to your deck. If you are interested in adding cards to your sideboard, all you have to do is click the sideboard tab and drag cards over or click as well. You can also click on this button right here to plus or if you want to remove them you can click on the name itself and it will remove the cards. Now because we have full standard in MTG Arena now, some cards are banned. Attune with Ether is banned in standard, and when you see a card that is uh, faded out like this, that means that it's banned in one of our legal formats. And if you hover over it, a little hanger will tell you exactly which format it's banned in. So Attune with Ether is banned in standard. Let's see, this one's going to be a fun one. Smuggler's Copter, banned in our standard and singleton formats. If you try to add it to your deck, you certainly can, but you'll notice that there is a red symbol in the number to let you know that it is currently banned. Uh, and if you save your deck, and you happen to have a deck in it, it will give you an option to make sure that you know you're actually trying to do this. For people who are playing singleton, as of right now, singleton decks will still show up if they have a card that is banned uh, in standard as having a card that's illegal in them, even though it is legal in singleton. For example, in this deck, I have a copy of Rampant App Ruins. Rampant App Ruins is a legal card in our singleton format, but it is banned in standard, as you can see through the hanger here. All right. Now that we've gone through building decks, let me show you how to play the game and also give you a couple of pointers as far as shortcuts go. So I'm going to jump into Quick Constructed where I will hopefully have an opponent waiting for me. Click on the event that you want. You can either uh, access it via one of these panel buttons here. You can simply click play and select it from our drop down menu over here. I'm going to choose Quick Constructed since that's what we are playing. Choose your deck is the first option. I will choose Red Black Aggro, and I will submit this deck. Once I've submitted it, you can see on here the track lets you know what the reward structure is for the events, for the events you'll be playing in. Log in, and hopefully we should find an opponent in five. Wow, how uh, about one? Get there a little easier. All right, once you log in, you'll have your opportunity to mulligan your hand if you decide to do it prompts are fairly straightforward. You won't get to see your hand until your opponent has had an opportunity to see their hand. This hand is good, so we will keep. Playing lands is very simple. Playing all cards in Arena is fairly simple. You just simply grab cards in your hand, drag them up, and you can put them straight onto the battlefield. There are a couple of different ways to play cards that have a mana cost. <laughs> Hello. Uh, first is to drag it up, and you'll notice that the mountain actually changes from a blue highlight to an orange highlight once I've highlighted. That lets you know that it is how it's going to pay for it. It's going to pay for it with the one mountain. It'll become, this will become more important as I start to cast more expensive spells or less expensive spells with more lands in play. For now, I'm just going to drag cards up because that makes it a lot easier and quicker. Move straight on in, attack, follow all the prompts, and uh, attack my opponent. There is an option for me to, if I wanted to, rather than dragging the card up and playing it, I can tap the lands themselves and have the opportunity to add the mana to my mana pool that way. For example, let's tap this for a red, tap this for a black, and then drag our scrap heap scrounger out there. It'll select those lands right there. Uh, we're not attacking this turn, so I'm not feeling it. Now going into the options menu by clicking the gear in the upper right hand corner, we have gameplay as an option. This has a whole bunch of shortcuts for you including control for full control, shift control turns full control on. This is a way for you to have access to every single stop over the course of the game. Anytime you would gain priority, it keeps priority until you decide to pass it. End turn is enter, it's a shortcut to make sure you just move straight to the end of turn. Pass until response by hitting shift and enter means cast a spell or you forego your opportunity to respawn unless your opponent activates an ability or casts a spell. It'll move straight to the end of the turn. It's a good way to make sure that you don't go through something you actually want to respond to, but you don't have to get bogged down with stops every single opportunity. Z is an undo. It's good for untapping lands. Uh, and space does a single pass priority. You can also click right here to disable auto tap, which I will show you right now what that means within game. Disabling within 
Uh, let's see. We are going to attack with this little guy right here. And then after combat, I will play a spell now that our auto tap has been turned off. All right, damage has been dealt. Let's play our land, put it into play tapped. Now let's play a Heart of Kirin. And we'll drag it on up. You'll notice previously these lands would have turned orange. Now they no longer do because with auto tap off, it is up to us to decide how we want to play for the mana for this spell. You can make whatever decisions you want as far as customizing how much control you have over your game. Uh, for our purposes, I want to move kind of quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and turn auto tap back on. Now, I do want to give you guys a brief primer on exactly what all of those stops and everything looks like once you uh, go through your quick uh, shortcuts. Uh, so I'm going to take a couple of turns and just give you some demonstrations. As it is right now, we don't have a whole lot that we can do, so it makes things a little easier. You'll notice on the in front of us, in front of our opponent, there's a turn tracker that has different phases marked along the way. Uh, the beginning, first main phase, second main phase, combat is where your avatar is, and end step is the stop sign here. You can tell whose turn it is and which phase it's in by what is highlighted orange. Right now, this bar tells us it's our opponent's turn, and the fact that the avatar itself is highlighted means that we're in combat. You can also learn by, that, by the fact we're being asked for blockers right now, which we're not going to take. All right, now it is our turn. I am going to, let's see, I would like to cast probably this cut. So let's tap this and we'll tap, actually, you know what? We didn't want to tap that for specifically. We'd like to keep that up. We just hit Z, it backs us up, and that's how we get our uh, undo for our casting. So let's go ahead and cut the Servant of the Conduit. And then, because we can, let's go ahead and, actually, you know what? We don't, I don't think we need to do this just yet. It's an instant. So let's, let's go ahead and attack. And once we've done attacks, we're kind of done with our turn. We're not gonna wanna do anything for the rest of this turn. So I'm just gonna click end turn right here. And it's gonna zoom us through the rest of our turn. Now, I know that I don't wanna have anything to do right now. So I'm going to hit shift, enter. And now that I've hit shift enter, we shouldn't get an opportunity to do anything until our opponent gives us a reason to do it by either casting a spell or activating ability. Sure enough, even though we fit in turn, now we have an opportunity f to actually cast the cards in our hand, which we are going to do right now and destroy target artifacts by getting rid of that Sky Sovereign right there. Uh, you know what, we might actually want to continue to do something. So I'm going to click end to turn off and uh, look for an opportunity for us to show you how space bar can pass through things. Um, we probably don't have anything that we really necessarily want to do right now. We'll probably want to attack that Heart of Kirin. So we'll play a Goblin Chain Whirler. Uh, it'll do its thing. And uh, now we don't really have more that we want to do. So we're going to move ahead by hitting space bar to go into our combat. Uh, before attackers, we'll need to turn tap this to turn our Heart of Kirin on. Now that it is a creature, we hit space bar, move into attack again. And we'll attack with this one right here. And actually, now that I've been thinking about it even more, we probably want to go into full control mode. So if we hit control, We'll get it for a single step. So we'll move through, and as soon as we have an opportunity to react again, we pass priority once, it'll assume we're done with full control. It's a good way to say, I, I'm gonna have something very important coming up, but I don't wanna keep it forever. If I did wanna keep it forever, rather than hitting control, I can hold down shift and hit control, or hit them both at the same time, and you'll see a lock appears right here. With the lock appearing, that's how full control gets turned on for the rest of the game, which meant that we have every single step along the way. That's going to be our little tutorial for today. Uh, hopefully this helps you get into the game a little quicker, helps you build your first deck, find the events that you want to play in, and make sure that you're able to play in a way that meets your pace and meets your ability to control the game. So it's been fun. Uh, again, my name is Nate, and I will see you guys on a stream sometime.